Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Wahyo Arfandi Prayogo My student number is 12 And I'm from class R001 So I'm gonna tell you a story with a horror zenith With the title is An Undercover Figure Hi, my name is Ayudia. I am a student at a university in Semarang. My life in Semarang wandered with my brother. I used to be called sister by my brother. He rarely or never even called me by my name. And I am an indigo child. So I often feel or even see things invisible like codes and other spirits that cannot be seen by ordinary eyes I realized that I had that ability since I was in high school in one night at 7 p.m. my brother went to play futsal with his co-workers so I was left alone at home with a very, very sick headache. Then, my brother knocked on my door and while saying, Sister, I will go play futsal with my friends. Then, after play futsal, I'll bring you a medicine and dinner for you. I could only nod my head, then I asked, Brother, how long you play futsal? What time is it when you back home? Then, my brother answered while pulling out his motorbike. I will play in futsal for two hours. Probably got home around 10 or half past 11 at night. Don't forget to lock the door from inside. When I come home, I will knock on the door. Then I answer, okay. After my brother left, I sleep in a room with a headache that had not subsided. However, soon I sleep, maybe around 8 p.m., I heard a voice calling my name. Ayudia, Ayudia. The voice of the call was heard many times and the sound was similar to my brother's voice. Then, I woke up, but there are all many questions that arise in my head. Why could Leon's he got back futsal, and why did he not knock the door first? And strangely again, my brother never called me with my name. Then I searched for the source of the sound that called me. And it was true, there was a creature that was then standing before the window of my house. His likeness was very similar to my brother. But if it is seen in more detail, they are different from the motion of the movement, the expression of his face and head. Because I was experiencing this, the odds of the end. I read prayers in my head, and it's true that the figure is not my brother and immediately disappears before me. It turns out that the figure I saw is a subtle creature that we commonly call Kendaru. These ghosts often resemble humans when they scare someone. The stature of Kendaru itself has a large and tall body, black, and has a glowing red eye. I cried while calling my brother, asking from him to get home soon, and telling the story of a new incident. And it was not long before my brother was at home for worrying about my condition. Now, 
since the incident, I have never been left alone in the house. There is always the one who was with me, either my friend or my brother. Okay, that's all for the story. Thank you very much for the attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.